bunch of nonsense. And this is the new nonsense that I'm sure that is going on right now with the issue of Jerusalem. They will say, well, you got to boycott. The Muslims have to boycott now their products, American products, or American goods. They got to boycott that because that they are, America is helping yani, uh, the Yahud for their, for their oppression. So therefore we have to boycott their, their goods. Akhi, the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ishtara min al-Yahud he indeed bought from the Yahud. Didn't he know that they were the enemy of Islam? Didn't he know that they were the enemies of Allah? Didn't he know that, didn't he know that this was his enemies and the enemies of the believers? Now they will say you should not be buying Starbucks or what's the other coffee? Dunkin Donuts or you should not be buying McDonald's Achy. and the same individual saying he is driving a Ford <laughs> the same individual is driving a Lincoln the same individual saying is Barakallah Fikum right he have Georgia power <laughs> but before that Achy, just be just be just be 100 with yourself just be real with yourself. You're going too far. Start by cutting your lights off, your gas off. Don't be buying no gas at Shell's gas station. You don't need no fuel from them. Start with that. The same individual saying this, they're the same one sending their, their, their children to the Kufar school. Start with that act. Before you went to be too extreme, depriving your children depriving your wife and your family we can't be drinking no more water start with that <laughs> that's why the people and as the ulama as Shaykh Muhammad Raslan Hafizahullah mentioned the people of the sunnah they follow one line they don't be in here today tomorrow you find them on the other side of the road la mawqifuhum wahid they have one tragic what you call it one Huh? I don't want. Huh? No, meaning they have one sh street, one path. They have one. W they, it's not two ways or three ways. Qul inna hada. This is my way. There is no other way. And another verse that this is sirati mustaqiman. He didn't say many sirat. He say sirati, sirati mustaqiman. Adafa as sirat ilayhi. Mustaqiman. Wa wasafa as sirat. And he described how is the sirat. Mustaqiman. Fattabi'uhu. He didn't say fattabi'uhum or hunna. He didn't say me jam'a. He say one way. But amma the hizbiyin, amma the, the, the ikhwan al muslimin, today they are on one path, tomorrow they are on the other path. Today they wear this jacket, the next day they wear the other jacket. Today they are Democrat, tomorrow they are Republican. The next day they are, what you call it? Liberal. The next day they are con conservatives. The next, the fifth day they don't have no political agenda or no party. But amma the people of Sunnah Akhi, Allahu Akbar. They only have one way. Naduru ma'a sunnah haythu daratna. That we will turn right or left based on what the sunnah asks us to do. We will go based on what the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tell us, tells us. Alaykum salam al-Qaad. But not like this ikhwan al-muflisin. That all they want is corruption. Because they are what? Muflis. Right? They bankrupt themselves. So therefore here, it is the had, meaning haddan, yuqtal haddan. He will be killed as a legal punishment. So here, legal punishment, it means what? It means he's still a believer. And that killing of him, it is to make him not bring yawman qiyamati that sin. That's number one. 
And inshallah, when we will go to reach Ubaid's statement, we will see the other details, inshallah, tabaraka wa ta'ala. Naam. He say, wa akharuna yarawna anna qatluhu haddan. And likewise, you have those who, now here, he mentioned here, he say, amma, he say, annahu kafir, he say, wa inda man, irwa annahu kafir, يقتل إيش كفرا as those who see him as a disbeliever they will kill him as a disbeliever not حدن but they will kill him as a disbeliever لأنه كفرا because he had disbelief he say يقتل قتل المرتدين he is to be killed as the killing of a مرتد apostate because the prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام say ماذا من بدل دينه فقتلوا طيب. So he say, وآخرون يرون أن قتله حدا. And others from the scholar they see that taking his soul will be out of a legal punishment or a capital punishment for him. طيب. Now, وأبو حنيفة من بين الأئمة يرى أنه لا يقتل. أبو حنيفة he sees that he is not to be killed. He sees that he is not to be killed. But what does he see? Yara annahu yus yuhbas yuhbas He is to be locked up. He is to be locked up. Wa yunkhas And he is to be given what you will commonly call community service. Right? Meaning he will be working, right, for the benefit of the community. Just like how you see these guys when they'll be, right, picking up trash on the highway with the jacket and stuff like this, right? They're not prisoners, but they got, let's say, fined with tickets or they were guilty of something, right? Now, instead of going for having a time in jail, they have been given, like, okay, go, community service. Right, go clean up the whole Gatby Road or go this and you know whatever the case might be. So he sees Imam Abu Hanifa, Rahimahullah, he say that he is not to be killed, but rather he is to be jail locked up, and he is to be placed in Barakallah Fikum in what is what we can understand easily community service. Right? Meaning he would be to be working for the for the believers. He would, they will be using, utilize him to cut the trees or to clean the streets or to be even uh, taking care of the animals of the Muslims and the likes of this. So, yep. And he say, Likewise, وَيُعَذِّبْ وَيُعَذِّبْ حَتَّى يُصَلِّي أَوْ يَمُوتْ And also, number, number three, is that he is to be punished. He is to be not tortured but punished. Until he established the salah or he dies. Alaikum salah. Until he established the salah or he dies. And this, alhamdulillah, concluded the statement of uh, the explanation of Asharih, which is Shah Rabi'a ibn Hadi al Madkhali. But inshallah, we want to take the one by Shaykh Ubaid al Jabiri. Hafidahullah wa ra'a. Naam, Abdurrahman. Naam. Right, right. Taban, 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 taban. This is how the yuzkar. This is something to be to be mentioned. Toyib. Wa alhamdulillah, al ikhwa nuhsinu al dhan bihim that we believe that they understand the point, right? So if I were to ask, who is in charge of that, Adam? Huh? The Amirul Mu'minin, the ruler, or the Amirul Mu'minin, or Abdullah. Right, the ruler or the ruler or huh? or the one whom he delegate, or the one whom he delegate, the Amirul Mu'minin, meaning the Muslim ruler. Tayyip, if you mean the state by that, yes, meaning the Muslim ruler and the one that he delegates, they're the only one that can implement that issue. It is not for nobody, Barakallah, to be doing that. Even if we see a person. 
that he is alhamdulillah a Muslim. He was a Muslim. He used to come pray in the jama in the in the congregation, and suddenly he stopped praying. And he suddenly stopped praying. Tayyip, and you know he stopped praying. You tell him, he said, listen, man, I don't pray no more. What do you do? Huh? Make dua. Yeah, make dua is true. But you got to advise him. You got to call him to the truth. You got to remind him. You got to attakhweef. You got to put fear in his heart by reminding him about the ayat and the ahadith. You also gonna barakallah fikum tell him about the good that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned for those who are praying. The good that he has reserved for those who are praying. And also remind him about that the first thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring into accountability is what? As salah. Naam, we read inshallah ta'ala and this is by Shaykh Ubaid al-Jabir, hafizahullah. <coughs> Shaykh Ubaid al-Jabir, he start by saying, Tariku salah lahu halatan. The one that abandoned the salah. Actually, you can download this book on a PDF. It's called, Ghirasu al-Jannati fi sharhi usul as-sunnah. في شرح أصول السنة بإمام أحمد رحمه الله لفضيلة الشيخ عبيد الجابر. That's the second time you're taking the picture of it. Did I take the first? This will be the third time. We we'll charge you next time, buddy. A thousand dollar picture. Barakallah, this is beautiful how he do it. And that's very technical. So it will require for the person to write. If you can memorize it while I'm saying it, alhamdulillah, marhaban. Get a pen and a paper. Number one, he mentioned that tariku salah lahu halatan. The one that abandoned the salah is of two situation. One that abandoned the salah is of two situation. Right? You all with me? Ihdahuma. Number one or one of them. Right, let's say number one. An yaturukaha jahlan. يظن أن الواجب عليه هو الشهادتين فقط والصلاة أمر كغيرها من العبادات التي لم تفرض That's the first حال Very easy to understand Right? Jazahullahu khairan. May Allah give him a long life, Shah Ubaid al Jabiri, and give him a strong health. Alhamdulillah, this shows the importance of knowledge. That we make dua for the ulama more than we make dua for our, huh? for our parents. Right? Because anytime we say Imam Ahmed, everybody will say Rahimahullah. To the point that sometimes you don't even be, it's, it's like almost automatic. Right? You say Shah Rabir, everybody will say what? Hafizahullah. It's automatic. To the point now, the, ch the kids come in, in the class, they already know Hafizahullah wa Rahimahullah without not even knowing what is the meaning of those words. Shah Ubayr al Jabir Hafizahullah, as Shah Khalid Uthman mentioned, he said the same way that Imam Ahmed was a mihna for Ahlul Sunnah. Same way Shah Rabir and the likes of them. Are a criterion for the people of the Sunnah. Meaning, whomsoever you see loving Shaykh Rabir, testify for him that he is a person of the Sunnah. He said, Likewise, Shaykh Ubaid al Jabiri, Hafidahullah, and the likes of them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen them all and give them a good end and keep making them a thorn 
on the necks of the people of innovation. Amen. So he said,